Mavericks hit last year. This is a team that has certainly bought in. It's pretty clear, Kevin. They believe in their coach, and they know they can make it to the finals now. They look to empower one another. They play as more than the sum of their parts. That's for sure. A well-oiled, cohesive group. Now, here's Thompson. And it's Doncic missing. Porter looking it over. From beyond the arc. And it's Westbrook missing. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. And on the way from Irving for three. They get it back. And finished off by Lively. Here he comes. And there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. Boy, the guys on the bench loving every minute of that one. Here's Murray. To the wing right side. Lively against Jokic. Five on the clock. Trains it as the shot clock ticks down. It takes body control, concentration, and skill to score against that kind of defense. Jokic doing a really nice job inside. Now, here's Doncic from the arc. And there's Thompson. That's good on the assist by Doncic. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Outside, Gordon. Back to Murray. Jokic with a screen on Doncic. Murray, good. Murray has that spirit of, you make one on me, I'm coming back at you for mine. Dallas is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Now, here's Washington. Here's Doncic. Bang shot, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whips on that. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, Michael Porter Jr. is one of the premier shooters in the NBA. And that size that he brings to that sweet stroke makes it hard to get to a shot. 6'10", shoots it with confidence, shoots it with great fluidity. And, man, is he special. And he's worked through some injury trouble early in his career. And now he's one of the more lethal front court players in the league on the perimeter. And he knocks down the first one. Clark, it has been quite a run for the Nuggets, hasn't it, who have made the playoffs every season since 2019. And how about this, Kevin? They've only been lower than a three seed one time in that span. And that was because Murray missed the season due to injury. They are consistently tough. Both shots good from the strike. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Doncic passes to Thompson. Back to Doncic. Lively with the screen. There's the triple. And it's Doncic missing. Nuggets have gone two or three here to start out the game. Westbrook against Irving. To the inside. Here's Jokic. And he uses the glass on the way. Using that huge body down low. Jokic racking up some hustle points. Doncic kicks to Irving. Here's Lively. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Lively's got five men. It's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age, and this guy can really stretch the floor. Murray, no good. I'm shocked that he didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Kyrie going to work from the mid-range is a thing of beauty. Such a skilled offensive player. And we have a timeout called by Michael Malone. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about.
Pass to Murray. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Here's Porter, and finished off by Porter. Well, when you've got Porter's length, this is what you can do. It makes it easy to get to the rim for the throw down. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Thompson outside. The three for Dungeon. Westbrook pulls it in. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Murray, no good. For Dallas, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Lively. And finished off by Lively. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Nuggets trail. Outside Westbrook. Gordon kicks to Porter. Jacks up a three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Gordon against Washington. Right side Irving. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got three assists in the game. Murray the pass to Jokic. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, but we appreciate, you know, for some players, success can change them. But not for Jokic. Uh, he seems like the same guy. He certainly does, boy. And he is special. He is so much fun to watch. Seems to be even killed and down the earth, but his game is heaven sent for sure. <laughs> He's off on the first. Hey, you look at these role players the Mavs have, Clark. They've done a great job. They really have, Kevin. I mean, the front office identified who the players were that could best play with their core stars needed defenders and guys that could catch and shoot the three. They went out and loaded up the roster with those perfectly fitting role players. Nikola Jokic Clark is as skilled a big as we have seen him. He has the ball. He can really affect the opposition. Yeah, he's such a great passer and he's got tremendous size. I mean, people forget because he's pretty nimble and agile that he's, you know, right at seven feet tall, seven one with really long arms. So he's a problem just from the size standpoint. Then you factor in his otherworldly skills as a passer, as a shot maker, as a basketball player. And now you've got something that's as unique as we've seen in, I think, the history of the game. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for down. It's a five-point game. Doncic kicks to Irving. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. His three-pointers off the mark. Denver's gone a meager 1 of 6 from three point land since we got started tonight. Porter against Irving. Pass to Jokic. Shot clock at 6. Shoots over Gafford. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. When it's all said and done, Jokic Greg is going to be the Nuggets career leader in many categories. And he's already their franchise leader in rebounds, assists, triple doubles, and playoff points, and many other advanced stats as well. Free throw, good. Lokic. And Greg, at the time Kyrie joined Dallas, there were some questions around how he and Doncic would fit together. Yeah, well, Dallas needed another ball handler who could score and make plays for others. Doncic couldn't do it all by himself, especially in the postseason. Now, they're trying to build around those two guys. And you look at this year's Denver team, you know, Greg, trying to get more from their bench than they did last year. Yeah, and you just don't want your starters to play so many minutes that they get gassed in the postseason. That's something Denver's trying to avoid this time around. Easier said, though, than done. Pass to Brown. And again, Denver no good. Dallas leading by four. 
Washington with the screen on court. Thompson from long range. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Extremely dangerous from that range. That's Thompson's comfort zone right there. Outside Porter. Gordon with the screen for Porter. They get the rebound. And Jokic slams it in. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Which is a spark they desperately need. They've got to ramp up the intensity. So it's the Mavericks now. After the Nuggets pick up two. Powell finds Doncic. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Murray surveying the D over Thompson. Powell pulls it in. You can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Kevin, thanks. The Mavericks at last season's trade deadline added length by acquiring Daniel Gafford and P.J. Washington. Coach Jason Kidd says they help on both ends. Gafford has the ability to roll, has great hands. P.J. can put the ball on the floor and guard one for five. And then defensively, they both bring physicality. Kevin? David, there is an argument to be made that was one of the best trades at midseason this league has seen in a very long time. Porter, that's a bucket. His third of the game, he shot the ball seven times. you got to push Porter Jr. out of the paint because he's so skilled at capitalizing down there. Back to Doncic. Good on the shot. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. The Nuggets trail by four. Murray with it. It's rebounded by Doncic. And he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And so here's Denver. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Here's Brown, covered by Irving. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Porter kicks to Gordon. Just five on the clock. Jokic sets the screen for Gordon. Connects from three-point range. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Doncic against Murray. A floater. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, you think about oversized point guards, and the gold standard has always been Magic Johnson. Now you look at Luka Doncic, and he's certainly big for that position. Definitely some positive similarities, right? But the big difference is one of those guys has five rings, and that's not a knock on Doncic. This is a team sport, but Magic's ability to affect winning was right there with another MJ. Michael Jordan. And he can't get the first one. And Clark, it's hard to compare Luka Doncic to any other player we've seen before. I would certainly agree with that. Ditto to that, Kevin, because he is unique. His pace is never hurry. He never gets rattled. He complains to officials a little bit more than I like to see, but he's strong. He's got great touch and feel, and he scores at all three levels, and he's a brilliant passer. No good on the second free throw. Usually free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. Porter passes to Watson. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. A different look for Dallas. Maxi Kleba comes in for Najee Marshall. And it's Quentin Grimes in for Exum. Mavericks leading by three. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. Fires for three. And it's Tyson with the rebound. 
Dinwiddie against Murray. The train. Rebounded by Gafford. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Good. And the assist goes to Dutchess. And the Mavericks lead by five. You know, guys, I like the way Dinwiddie uses his body and strength. I mean, he doesn't have a problem overcoming physical defense. The Nuggets shooting just about an even 40% to start. Murray outside. Outside Porter. Here's the three. The Mavericks pull it in. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Dinwiddie passes to Gaffin. Misses from short range. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Murray. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Murray's got five now. In the mid-range, Murray can really make it happen now. He's just that versatile a score. Pass to Doncic. Pulls it from 20, and he knocks down the jumper. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Nuggets. Trailing by five. Outside Porter. Six on the shot clock. A three ball. The Mavericks pull it in. Doncic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Shot by Grimes. No good. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Porter kicks to Murray. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Murray, no good. Kitch outside, and Gaffer throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. It's been all about Luka Doncic for Dallas. Scoring, rebounding, he was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. We've got more in store for you right after this. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. The defense has been giving them plenty of mid-range jumpers, and they've been making them pay for that mistake. And we also have seen them continue to fire from deep with the results they're seeing, and you can understand why. Here's Pickett. No scoring in this one. We've got Spencer Dinwiddie. He's out there with Kyrie Irving, and it's Prosper in at the four. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Mavericks leading by four. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Pass to Marshall. Outside Irving. Find the shoot. It's rebounded by Naji. The Nuggets trail by four. Out to the right wing. Here's Pickett. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. You know, a trend that's been unmistakable, Greg, over the last few decades has been the number of positionless players. Yeah, and, and I think that's a great thing, right? So many players now with diversity in their skill set, and there's no need to commit a player to a certain role just based on their size. Exum, he's checked in for Dallas. Hardy comes in for Spencer Dinwiddie. Yeah. 
Well, we know, GA, the Mavs are so adept at hunting the matchups they want. They're patient and methodical. Yeah, they, they never look like they're in a rush, right? Even when you send a double or trap the ball, the Mavs stay calm and know where to go. It's what makes slowing down their pick and roll so difficult. You gotta run Kyrie off that line. If you let him get comfortable and find his shot from behind the arc, it's a wrap. Here's Frother. Hasn't made one yet. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Now, here is Irving. He's covered closely, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Boy, great display of concentration and tenacity from Irving there. Fighting his way through contact, getting it up and down, plus the five. The Mavericks shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. And that just has to improve, guys. I mean, the free throw shooting is something that has to get better. You're immediately putting yourself at a disadvantage when you shoot that poorly from the line. Nice And though the Nuggets have some excellent outside shooters, Clark, they've been more prolific inside the arc the last couple of years. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, they were an extreme example of that, Kevin. First in the league in two-point attempts, and then dead last, almost dead last, in three-point attempts. Not what most people would think when looking at the Nuggets. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Here's Irving. And the call on the shot, it sends him to the line. Clark, Kyrie Irving has got to be as skilled a player as we've seen in the NBA. Well, I tell you what, I don't know if I've ever seen a better layup maker than him. And I played against Isaiah Thomas and read about Nate Archibald and some of the other great small ball guards. But, man, this kid, Kyrie Irving, well, young man now, 50, 40, 90 on a season. And a lot of times he's making acrobatic layups against six, six, nine, and seven foot guys. Special. Greg, you love this topic more than anyone. When you think about the best ball handlers of all time, where does Kyrie Irving rank on your list? Well, you know, I think, Kevin, he's at the very top. I've never seen anyone else pull off some of the things he does. Certainly makes a strong case for the best ever. Both free throws, good for Irving. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Right side, Porter. Over Axum. The Mavericks pull it in. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Dinwiddie with the bucket. Dinwiddie doing damage with the rock in his hand. The defender just unable to keep up. Westbrook against Dinwiddie. Westbrook dishes to Porter. Now here's Westbrook. D right on him. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. He misses the free throw. Boy, the passion Westbrook plays with is infectious. He plays hard every second he's out on the court. Dwight Powell's checked in for Daniel Gaffer. He hits the second from the line. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Outside Irving. The shot from the low post is good. Irving's got ten points in the quarter. You know, this is simply what Kyrie Irving does. Get buckets against defenders. He's a bucket maker. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. It's a ten-point game. 
And we have a timeout called by Michael Malone. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Back to Watson. Outside Porter. Astonaji, elbow shot, and they pick up two. Aji's got five now. Boy, nice read by Porter Jr. that time, scanning the floor and getting his teammates involved. Here's Dinwiddie. He had dropped for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Westbrook scanning the floor. On the wing, Porter. What's in the screen? Shot clock at five. Puts it up from 12. Pass to Strother. Takes the three. It's good, and Watson picking up the assist. Strother's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Irving. Plays it up and banks it in. Irving's got 19 points. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. The Nuggets trail by nine. Outside Westbrook. He's looking for Porter and finds him. That one goes. Count it. He's got 11. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. Westbrook against Dinwiddie. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. I can't find an excuse for letting Dinwiddie get this positioning inside. I mean, once he has it, you're toast. Denver's gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter so far. Pass to Strother. Watson. So here's Westbrook. Then would he cover it? Misses the three. Dallas leading by nine. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, Michael Porter Jr. was the number one ranked player in high school, but a back injury changed things. He said, my potential may look different now, but as long as I can truly say with what I had, I gave it my all, that's all that success should be defined by. Kevin, who grounds himself in gratitude and the work he's put in. It's DA, he is a worker and living the dream. Here's Strother. Outside Westbrook. To the paint. Here's Nadja. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. All the officials are all over that. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And that one misses. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Oh. 
Good on the second free throw. And the Mavericks with possession here. And we've got a timeout called by Jason Kidd. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. with a change here too. Junjars checked in. Here's Thompson. He's got six. Anjic passes to Thompson. There's the three. That's good from Doncic on the assist by Thompson. Doncic has got the lead up to 11 now for the man. Murray against Doncic. Pass to Chanshar. Denver passing it around. Now Jokic. That's a nice job by Jokic getting fouled in the act. And we know he's going to cash in most times. For Denver, they have gone 7 of 11 from the line. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. And, you know, there was plenty of blame to go around for that. I mean, it wasn't just one or two guys. I mean, for the most part, the entire team struggled. The first free throw is good. You know, what makes Jokic truly exceptional in my mind is the versatility. You know, he's a really good passer. And that to me is a tremendous distinction, not to mention how he scores and does the other stuff he does out there. Daniel Gafford's checked in for the Mavericks. Peyton Watson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Christian Brown comes in for Michael Porter. Mavericks leading by nine. Andrews outside. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Boy, this is why me and so many others are high on Doncic. I mean, he's got the ability to fight through challenges that defenses present. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one. And 79% from the line a season ago. Pretty consistent there as a free throw shooter. That free throw good from Doncic. You know, one of the things I like about watching Doncic is the pace he plays at. You're not going to speed him up. He plays at his pace, the pace he dictates. Inside. And Watson slams it in. A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Pass to Washington. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. Trailing by 10. Murray dishes to Westbrook. Now here's Watson. Back to Westbrook. Down to five on the shot clock. No good from outside. Mavericks leading by 10. Like we were just talking, P.J. Washington has improved his defense, hasn't he? He really has been intentional about getting better at that end of the floor. And, you know, he always had a good foundation for potentially being an outstanding defender. But then he put the work in. You know, he does a great job with his positioning. He's got excellent positional size. And because of all of that in his work, he's a versatile defender now that can make an impact at that end of the floor. Basket, good. Boy, it's so impressive to see Doncic at his size handle the ball the way he does. As a defender, he can really put you on your heels. The Nuggets trail by 12. Now Westbrook. Pass to Murray. 
Westbrook with a screen from Earth. Drops one in from the wing. Murray's got seven points in the game. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. And Jason Kidd has called timeout. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. And the Mavericks making a change here. Irving's checked in. And Denver also making a switch. Tyson's checked in. Here's Thompson. He has six on the wing Doncic. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his first foul. On the wing, Irving. He's covered by Murray from about 19 feet. A nice shot by Irving. Irving's got 21 in the game. You know, he's got such a diverse skill set. Irving can hurt you in a lot of ways. I mean, he's a player you'll have a lot of trouble game planning for. Here's Brown. He's covered by Thompson. It's deflected. Gafford with the steal. Al the Mavericks moving it up. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Thompson. 23 points for Kyrie Irving. Boy, that's exactly how you punish a team in transition. Kyrie getting out in front and going straight on the attack. The Nuggets trail by 14. And here is Murray. Seven points in the game. Good on the triple. Murray's got five points in the quarter. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Doncic kicks to Washington. The shot from 20 feet away. Doncic, no good. Nuggets have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And the strength of Murray. Finishing the shot off easily, even with the harm. Jamal Murray is still an elite scorer. And Clark, he has fought through so many injuries. And it's remarkable that he's as explosive off the bounce as he is after the injuries that he's dealt with. His ability to create a shot, especially at crunch time, one of the best in the league. The pull-up jumper, the teardrop, and the three, he's got all of those. On the floor, Murray is electrifying. I mean, he delivers relentless effort, and it keeps his whole squad energized and engaged. Pass to Washington. The Mavericks have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. First free throw is good. Oh, free throw is good from Doncic. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. It's a 10-point game. Gordon kicks to Murray. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Here's Jokic. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Irving attacking. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. 
It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. You know, on the drive, Irvin probably anticipates the foul there or even expects it. He's too sharp to let it surprise him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Kyrie Irving, special. I mean, as skilled a player as you'll ever see when it comes to handling the ball and scoring in close. And the second free throw, good. The Nuggets trail by 11. Pass to Jokic. Westbrook with a wide open look. And another miss by Denver. Dallas has gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range. Irving surveying the floor. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got five assists in the game. Murray with it. 13 points in the game. Now Jokic. Pass to Porter. They set the pick. And a miss there on the triple. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these threes. It might be time to get inside of that arm. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it, but it just has not been there for him tonight. You might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Outside Irving. Thompson outside. 44 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Just five to shoot. Here's Irving. And Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down to 11 on the bucket from Russell Westbrook. Just by nature of his style, Westbrook is going to draw contact. So he's got to be strong enough and focused enough to play through it. And he is and does. Doncic kicks to Washington. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Washington's got his first bucket in this one. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Denver shooting at an even 50% from the floor here in the second quarter. Murray for three. Kept alive. The kick out to Westbrook. Bangs home the trifecta. Westbrook's got eight points here in this quarter. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. Donchich from deep three-point land. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? execution pace and purpose with everything that we do uh, and making sure that when we call a set we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective we'll see if they can fix that in the second half thanks coach back to you thanks so much Dave for the great interview don't go away folks we'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this Thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. 
You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Second half is underway. Here's who Michael Malone's got on the floor. Before in the five, it's Gordon and Jokic. Russell Westbrook out there with Murray. And it's Porter in at the small four. Jokic against Lively. A three-pointer, no good. Mavericks leading by 10. Thompson finds Irving. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Jokic. You know, I like how Irving also keeps the defense guessing, keeps him off balance, and he's so crafty and creative around the basket. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. The Nuggets trail by 12. Outside Westbrook. Here's Gordon. And he can't bank that one in. The Maverick shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Here's Irving. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Irving's got the lead up to 14 now for the man. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas. Here's Doncic. Misses the lane. Doncic with the steal. Makes it off the glass. Doncic has got 20 points. Luka Magic has been on display tonight. He is in full control, piling up the points. Thompson against Porter. Launches it. And he's good on the three ball. Porter's got 14 points for the game. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Thompson looking for an opening. Moving against Westbrook. Hits the front of the rim and out. The Nuggets trail by 13. On the wing, Porter. No good with the triple. For Dallas, they've gone 2 of 4 here to start the second half. Outside Irving. And he lays it straight in. Irving's got 32 points. Irving so good and crafty at being able to get things done with the high percentage shot inside. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. To the surprise of some, Derek Lively made an immediate impact as a rookie. Count me amongst those folks, Kevin. I saw him in college and I liked his potential and I thought it would take a while longer for him to have an impact, but boy, he has exceeded ex expectations in a big way. And because of his shot blocking and energy, running the floor, rim running, and the like. He's earned himself some nice minutes as a uh, contributing player. And Greg, something that is so important to this team, Jamal Murray's shot creation. It is, Kevin. He creates so much with the ball or off of it. The work he puts in on offense frees up everything for his teammates. Great competitor who's really a perfect fit with this court. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Washington with a screen on Murray. 
Here's Doncic. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Doncic has got 22 points. No matter what you throw at Doncic, he'll adapt. Nice shot there. Left side, Gordon. Back to Murray. That's tipped. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Pass to Irving over Westbrook. Irving can't get it to go. The Nuggets trail by 13. Murray outside. And that one drops for him. Murray's got six in the quarter. This is one of those nights where Murray was just determined to take over, and he's carried through with that determination. And here's Doncic from the arc. It's good from long range. And the Mavericks lead by 14. And you know, he's going to continue to bury those if that's how they're going to deal. Murray sets a screen for Gordon. Westbrook against Irving. It's tipped. A 15-footer, and the basket is good. Irving's got 34 points. Well, Irving can shoot it with little warning. I mean, he's just that quick. No time to contest if you're not there before the shot. For three, Murray. And Lively pulls it down. Lively's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Irving. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Defensive boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. The defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now, and so far, no go. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Mavericks. They're still slashing and attacking the rim, and the defense yet to make the adjustment and keep the ball in front. You know, another thing that stands out to me is their passing in this game. I mean, they've done a tremendous job sharing the ball and setting each other up for success. And Murray's got the ball here for Denver. Trailing by 19. Outside Gordon. Shot to stop the run. They grab their own miss. Jokic. Back to Gordon. They shoot again. Denver with a new 14. And it's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Outside, Porter, just four to shoot. And a deep three from Murray. And another miss by Denver. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Here's Doncic. And such a nice move to make the basket work. Doncic has got nine points now in just the second half. And it's Michael Malone calling timeout here. He wants to talk to his guys. The Nuggets trail by 21. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Murray is screen on Thompson. Irving against Westbrook. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Classic play that time by Westbrook. Making space with the pick and roll to create for his team. And the Mavericks with possession. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Here's Lively. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. 
And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Free throw, no good for Lively. The Nuggets trail by 21. Here's Porter. And finished off by Porter. Fast break points are a lot about hustle, and Porter Jr. does not hold back in getting up and down the court. Here's Dallas. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 27. Here's Irving. Jokic grabs the miss. Denver shooting 41% for the game. Porter double team. Doncic with the steal. Pass to Thompson. Doncic against Murray. And Doncic gets it to go. Luke, a combination of finesse and bully ball in there that time. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Murray outside. To the left wing. Jokic draws the double. Murray kicks to Gordon. Murray outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Westbrook. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Westbrook's got ten points. Well, it looks to me like he can get this shot anytime he wants. I mean, so confident, so poised, always under control. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. And Denver again with the bucket. Mavericks leading by 17. Pass to Washington. Down low. Stolen by Westbrook. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. And it's Murray with the jam. You can't allow Murray to beat you to the rack. I mean, he really turns on the Jets in the open floor. You got to get in front. Dallas shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Washington finds Dungeon. Off target from three-point range. The Nuggets trail by 15. Here's Westbrook. Gordon the pass to Porter. Irving against Westbrook. Over Irving. Westbrook, no good. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Irving against Westbrook. Washington with a screen on Westbrook. Outside Irving. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Right there, Irving does a nice job of anticipating the contact, so he braces himself for it and then works through it. The Mavericks have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. One calls for Maxi Kleba. He's checked in for Dallas. Aji Marshall comes in for PJ Washington. And Denver also making a switch. Christian Brown's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. The Nuggets trail by 17. Murray the pass to Gordon. Back to Murray. The Mavericks pull it in. Doncic has got nine rebounds now tonight. Over Murray. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Doncic has got 13 points in the second half. Outside Gordon. 
Murray sets a screen for Gordon. To the right side. Porter passes to Brown. Back to Porter. It's up a three. They get it again. Jokic misses from close range. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Thompson dishes to Marshall. And no good. The Nuggets trailed by 19. Brown the pass to Murray. Gordon with a screen on Doncic for three. Murray gets rebounded by Dallas. Thompson outside. Pass to Irving. Back to Thompson. Now Doncic. He's covered by Murray. That's good from Doncic on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got six assists now in the game. The Nuggets shooting 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Porter in the corner. Gordon with no one around. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Boy, I like the confidence here. Gordon is excellent at realizing when he has room to shoot even before he has the ball. That's what we call seeing a play ahead. Outside Irving. Shot from 12. That shot off. The Nuggets trail by 19. Here's Brown. Still yet to score. Wide open look here for Murray. And it's off from three-point range. Dallas has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Doncic, no good. Here's Brown. Covered by Irving, and it's Gordon finishing it off. And Gordon taking advantage of the fact that when he gets up in the air like that, nobody's interested in getting in his way. There's 45 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic, and stolen by Murray. Floats one up. <laughs> Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. He's super hard to guard is Jamal Murray because he's got all the shots, including recognizing when they use the float. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. Yeah, that's a great asset to have, guys, uh, for any team. Coming down the stretch in close games, you've got a guy who's confident and very good at the line. When he steps up there, you feel good about it. Here's Doncic. He's got 34. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Gafford kicks to Exum. Here's Doncic. And a pick comes off the rim, but it sinks right in. That's 36 points for Luka Doncic. Doncic always ready to let it fly once he catches it. Murray outside. With one on the clock. That's good on the jump shot. Murray's got 26. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Mavericks. He's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Dallas leading by 14. Big man on the floor for him. It'll be Washington and Gafford. He is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Exum in at the small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. And here's Hardy. Irving for three. Charge grabs the board. 
to the paint. And here we go, Murray heading to the hoop. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Jamal Murray, one shot. Side Irving. Gafford sets the pick for Irving. Nail from three point land. Irving's got 16 points here in the second half. It sure was textbook, and Irving is fantastic in the screen roll. A solid decision maker in these sets, and he also can put it in the basket himself if he needs to. Works that one inside nicely. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Dallas has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Now, here's Hardy. Pass to Exum. Fires the three. He can't hit that top. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Murray with it. Guarded now by Irving. That's it, and the Dallas lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Westbrook. Well, and that's a big deal for Westbrook because when he starts to knock down shots from distance, it really opens up his full bag of attack mode offense. That one's not going to go. The Nuggets have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. And here's Washington outside. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Corners can be a little suspect for Washington, but he puts a smooth stroke on it this time. Irving against Murray. To the middle, wants to get it to Westbrook and does. You know, people marvel at the explosiveness of Westbrook for good reason, but he also is pretty crafty. This guy, got he's got some tricks, too. And the first one drops. Dallas making a switch here. Prosper's checked in. The Nuggets also changing it up. Jordan comes in for Zeke Naji. And it's Peyton Watson in for Dario Sharks. Makes both free throws. And it's Irving with the ball for Dallas. 22 is their biggest lead. Washington passes to Gaff. Dallas moving the ball around. Pass to Washington. Six to shoot. Here's Hardy. Another three for Dallas. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on deep. Outside Westbrook. They set the pick. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Prosper. Dallas leading by 13. Here's Hardy. Plays it up off the glass. Haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Outside Westbrook shoots over Hardy. And another miss by Denver. Dallas has gone three and five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Good. Nice job down low. Hardy's got seven points for the quarter. 
Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Here's Westbrook. Carries it from about 10 feet away. Westbrook's got 13 points in the second half. Big game thus far for Westbrook offensively. Not a surprise coming from him. But he is clearly amped up in this one. Irving passes to Hardy. Here's Washington. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And the Mavericks lead by 18. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. On the wing, Murray. Covered by Irving. Outside Westbrook. Drives to the hoop. Count that bucket. Westbrook's got 23 points. You know, Russ's aggressive attitude, always in attack mode, simply invites contact. Dallas leading by 16. Here's Harden. Outside Irving. Puts up a deep three. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Watson dishes to Westbrook. Back to Watson. It's rebounded by Dallas. Irving's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Prosper. It's picked off. To the inside. And Watson slams it in. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Outside Irving. Here's Prosper. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. Westbrook's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Watson slams it in. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Pass to Prosper. And Jordan sends it back. Now, here's Westbrook. Defense is right there. The Mavericks pull it in. And here's Harkey inside. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So, I'd agree with you there. First one falls. Clay Thompson is checked in for the Mavericks. Anjic comes in for Hardy. Big group substitution here for Denver. Gafford cans them both. The Nuggets trail by 14. Jokic with a screen on Doncic. If a floater, Murray, no good. The Mavericks have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Washington passes to Doncic. That one goes in. Doncic has got 38 points. Luka is a massive guard. He can do damage inside just as easily as outside. Outside, Porter. Murray sets a screen for Porter. Over Thompson. 
And that one's good by Porter. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. 22 is their biggest lead. For the screen on Murray. And here's Doncic from the arc. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Here's Porter. Banked in off the glass. Porter's got four points this quarter. Porter Jr. getting flashy. Check him out. Using a tricky dribble to get the best of the defender there. Here's Washington. Jokic with the steal. To the wing on the left. And that one's good. Strother. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up, and now we have a game. Can't quite put my finger on it, but something gave them a jolt, and now they're knocking down everything. We've got some fireworks in store for us down the stretch. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Jokic. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Mavericks leading by 10. The 17-footer. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Doncic has got 40 points. This is clearly Doncic's role. I mean, he's out here to score as much as possible. Gordon finds Porter. Here's Strother. He's covered by Irving. Back to Porter from downtown. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Doncic, and Doncic throws it down. Luka with so many physical gifts taking flight right there. And we have a timeout called by Michael Malone. Wants to make sure everybody's coordinated and intent. in for Daniel Gaffer. Russell Westbrook in for Denver. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. During that last break, I got a chance to hear what Michael Malone said to his team. Now, he was vocal in the huddle. He told his guys, don't quit on each other. We're still in this game, guys, but I need each one of you to up your energy level. Let's make a run. Now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Gordon with a screen on Doncic. Outside, Gordon. Pass to Porter. Fires from deep. Traps in the tray. Porter's got seven points here in this quarter. A true sniper from long range. Porter Jr. with a nice stroke on that shot. Now Irving. And here's Doncic from the arc. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic is... Porter against Thompson. Denver passing it around. And Jokic throws it down hard. You know, for all of his agility and craftiness to slick moves, Jokic not afraid to go old school and just throw it down on you. Irving with the ball. Pass to Doncic. Doncic with a strong move inside. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. Now here's Murray. They trail by 11. Stolen by Lively. Here's Doncic. It's hauled in by Gordon. Denver's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Porter kicks to Murray. Back to Porter. Gordon the pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Four on the shot clock. Murray, no good. You know, he's just chucking it up from distance this quarter. If you're going to do this, especially in the second half, you better make it. Doncic right side. And 
end, he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Excellent finish that time inside by Doncic. He's highly skilled. I mean, that's obvious. What's not so obvious is how big he is. This guy looks me eye to eye. And so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Mavericks. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. And once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And any time they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance from Luka Doncic. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Look, I know he runs the point, but boy, can Doncic go to work inside. the first but misses the second here's Pickett Lawson defending holds Kleba with the rebound guys a good chance for them to slow it down yeah they definitely should use some clock here Anjic passes to exit Kleba against home And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. That one falls for Gafford. <laughs> Gafford cans them both. Denver with the ball. Down by 15. Here's Pickett, guarded by Doncic. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Uh, man, well, the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, 
I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And as we leave you, let's take a look at our player of the game, Luka Doncic.